The Preston Professional AED Trainer, available from MCR Medical Supply. Bringing you all the quality, durability, and affordability you've come to expect from Preston products, combined with a cutting edge pad sensing system, revolutionary software, quick setup, and it's so easy to use, this trainer gives instructors the most reliable AED training tool available on the market today. Package contents. Unpack your new trainer to find one Preston Professional AED trainer, four C-size batteries installed, an English-Spanish language module with the 2010 guidelines pre-programmed, one set of adult AED training pads, and one set of extra connector pins, all in a nylon carrying case. How to set up your Preston Professional AED trainer. First, we'll be installing the program and language module. Remove the Preston Professional AED trainer from the carrying case. Lining up the notches to ensure proper installation, insert the module into the back of the unit on the lower left-hand corner by pressing firmly. When ECC guidelines change, simply replace this module. Now we'll connect the AED training pads to the unit. To connect the pads, find the ends of the AED trainer cables that are not connected to the unit. Remove the black pad connector pins by pushing on the small end of the pin with a ballpoint pen. Make sure the pad's graphics are on the same side as the pad connector pin head. Insert pad into cable connector. The hole in the tab of the pad will match the hole in the connector ends. If the pad's graphics are on the same side as the pad connector pin head, you're ready to push the black pad connector pins back into the hole on the end of the pad cable connectors. Repeat this operation on both AED training pads. The pads are now connected to the unit. They will not be disconnected until you're ready for new pads. To keep your pads clean and protected, they'll be stored in the unit's training pad case. First, open the white plastic training pad case found in the unit. Then turn the pad over to remove the clear plastic liner from the AED training pad by gently pushing down on the tab end of the pad. Gently separate the pad from the liner and adhere it to the inside of the white plastic training pad case, matching the tab end of the pad with the case's notch. Repeat this process with the other training pad. To finish, close the case and discard the liner. Coil the cables, leaving a small loop where the cables connect to the training pad case. Place the cables in the well of the unit and cover them with the pad case. Close the unit's blue flip-top lid and your Preston Professional AED trainer is ready for use. This section highlights features shown on the control panel. Selections on the control panel include a language button, scenario selection button, volume button, and play pause button. It's not necessary to turn the unit on to change control panel selections. Also shown on the control panel are the selection indicator lights. First, the language button. To change the unit's language, simply press the language button to toggle between the languages that come Spanish. with your unit. No toque al paciente. The scenario selection button. The scenario selection button is used to select one of the five shock, no shock scenarios available on the unit. Read left to right. A red light on the selection indicator light section means shock. Yellow means no shock. The default is three cycles of shock. The volume button. There are three volume levels on the unit. By repeatedly pressing the volume button, you can increase or decrease the unit's volume. Yellow lights show low, medium, or high volume, with one, two, or three lights illuminated in the selection indicator lights section on the unit. The pause play button. When the pause button is pushed, the unit will pause the scenario. When in pause mode, three yellow lights in the selection indicator lights section of the unit will blink. Using the Preston Professional AED Trainer. To use the Preston Professional AED Trainer, turn the unit on by pressing either the green on-off button or push the language, scenario, or volume button. You cannot start the unit using the remote or by lifting the lid. When you first turn on the unit, it will default to the last setting selected. 
To change a setting, press the control panel button you wish to change repeatedly until the desired selection is announced. During class, the unit will guide the students through a scenario, asking them to place pads on patient's bare skin, and will repeat the command until the pads are firmly attached to the mannequin. Apply pads as shown in the pictures. After analysis, depending on which scenario was chosen, the unit will advise to shock or not shock. Press the flashing shock button. Shock delivered. A pause follows, giving your students a chance to check for obvious signs of life or to continue with CPR. After the recommended number of cycles, the unit will again analyze and proceed as indicated for the selected scenario. Wondering if it's time to replace your Preston Professional AED training pads? Finding out is easy with the unit's pad test mode. To initiate the pad test mode, First, hold the green on-off button for five seconds until you hear a single beep. The red shock button will flash. Take the pads out of their training pad case. Place the pad on a flat surface, graphic side up. Lightly press the pad switch and listen for the beep. Hear the beep? That means the pad is working. No beep. It's time to replace the pad. The Preston Professional AED Trainer is capable of delivering a simulated shock without having the student press the shock button. This is the automatic, semi-automatic mode setting. The Preston Professional AED Trainer is preset from the factory in semi-automatic mode, but can be set to automatically deliver a simulated shock without pressing the shock button. To change this mode, with the AED Trainer off, Hold down the green on-off button for about 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. The red shock button will flash on and off. The first beep is the pad test mode, so wait for the second set of beeps before releasing the button. Look at the selection indicator lights. If there are three yellow lights, you are in semi-automatic mode. If there are three red lights, you are in automatic mode. The AED will deliver a simulated shock without the student pressing the shock button. To toggle this automatic semi-automatic mode setting, push the shock button. Press the green on-off button to exit and save your desired setting. The optional remote control. With the optional remote control device, setup and unit control functions can be operated remotely within nine feet of the trainer. You can adjust volume, set language, change the scenario, simulate loose pads, initiate a press deeper command during CPR, and play, pause, or end the scenario. Worried that losing the remote control to the unit will bring your class to a halt? With the Preston Professional AED Trainer, the remote control is not required to operate the unit. To order additional or replacement pads, the optional remote control or to view the entire MCR Medical Supply Catalog, visit us at mcrmedical.com. MCR Medical Supply, your premier source for first aid and CPR training supplies.